how do we walk into uncertainty yeah. with right. wonder and welcoming and genius and excitement? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, totally, totally. No, that's another great question. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your questions. And, you know, keep in mind that this universe, you know, has been uncertain every moment up until now, but we've been like pretending like we've been yeah, doing this. Yeah, those blinders on. Yes, yes. We believe with blinders, whatever, that, oh yeah, that everything is, is, is in concrete. And we've been trying, interestingly, you know, concrete, concretizing the whole universe. But um, the idea being, to answer your question, you see, what's really scary to me when we're isolated, if we, if somebody is going through this and they don't have connection to other people who are also awakening, if they don't, in other words, have a sangha, have their tribe, their community, that to me would be a nightmare. That would be really, really scary. But the idea being when you hook up with other people and now so many of us are awakening, you know, and, and interestingly, the word um, bodhisattva, um, the, my favorite translation of the word is a being in the process of awakening. And that's all of us. We're all like bodhisattvas in training. So as we're awakening, you discover, okay, we're not separate. We can actually connect with each other and help each other to stabilize our awakening and to deepen our awakening and to activate the collective genius that's, you know, that gets conjured up when we do connect and we can conspire to co-inspire each other. That's a true conspiracy theory where we can actually have the realization we're all on the same side, you know, that if I help you, it helps me because we're not separate. And so in other words, it's in, this incredible portal has opened up for us to like actually have the realization of our nature and to do that together in a way that amplifies that realization. And in a way, you know, that's, that's like sort of the, the pandemic that I want to create, you know, with you and with, with everyone. So the way I think you're saying to walk into uncertainty is not to have all the answers, but to also realize you're not alone, that we're doing, we're, we could build something together because we're all creative geniuses. We dream this up as a way out of the nightmare and something right. Right. Oh. Yeah, and yeah, and when more of us have this realization of what we're contemplating, and this isn't some sort of weird new age thing, you know, oh, Paul's just like this, whatever, you know, I would Well, be. your time has come. You don't have to worry about that. This is your time. Right, no, no, no. This is, this is something, this is, this is actually, like I was saying, people are thirsting for seeing the deeper meaning. Yeah. This, you know, I'm just offering, hey, when you look at it this way, all of a sudden, it's an incredible offering. It's, it contains its own medicine. It's an incredible gift. It's a hidden treasure. It's a terma, you know, all of these things. But it, the thing is, it's a hidden treasure. Like quantum physics, everything depends in potential. And, and quantum physics is showing us that we participate in the creation of our universe moment by moment. The same thing with this treasure. How is it going to manifest? How, how with the, the gifts that are being offered to us by the coronavirus, they only will manifest in their beneficial aspect if we get what they're revealing to us. And then we have to step into the dream, I incarnate, and how do, that? Actually, how do you step into the dream? Yeah. Yeah, and actually participate. This is we. Ha it's a participatory sort of thing we have to do. Just like quantum physics is showing, this is a participatory world. And then, so it's not just something you can passively watch and meditate and do mantras and think, oh, it's going to magically. That's to be narcissistic at this point. Yeah, you want to do your spiritual practice, but you also have to cross pollinate with participating in the world. And become, you know, many people are talking about quantum activists. Become a quantum activist. Become, you know, this awakened person in the dream, recognizing the dreamlike nature, connecting with other people who are realizing that. And you discover we can connect in a way where we dream ourselves awake, you know. And that's evolutionary. That's what's being offered to us.